canals to Washington Island. There's miles of these canals for kayaking. They're a little bit hot in the daytime, but, but when we got a good breeze, they're beautiful. And just fantastic things to look at and explore. The water, although it, it, it looks like tea, the water is very, very fresh. It's not the least bit brackish. We are going through some thick reeds. Whoa! That was crazy. <laughs> We're getting the excitement tour. Look at the rotting vegetation. As you come over the pressure wave of the boat. Oh! Hey, what's my what's that say? Change the battery pack. Here you go, Chuck. I just need you to save the battery as much as possible. So what am I doing? Taking photos. I, I really like them. I can see through the lens. Yeah, it's broken. The viewfinder's broken. You have to look at the screen. Listen to the birds, Cameron. Yeah, this is crazy. What? Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay, these sounds are pretty spectacular. I got some water drops from the reeds on there. I, I think I have water drops from the ocean. Yeah? Wow. This is beautiful. So we're on uh, Washington Island, um, going through some of the most spectacular, uh, just palm tree, <laughs> coconut tree or jungle I've ever seen. It's incredible. A small canal going through this jungle, and we're going to a huge freshwater lake in the middle of the island. Tree. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They're gonna need help. Now. Oh, oh, Oh. Looks like it's finally opening up and I heard we're getting close to that lake. on a ship in a long time and not sleeping last night. Yeah, I didn't get Getting too much up, sleep last I, I night. I was up at 30 a.m. Yeah, yeah, I had a hard time going to bed. The Kauai today? Sitoa? I don't want to see that. Sitoa? Akeri? Neniku? Neyaki? Yeah, yeah, I did the Kauai. I uh, see the lake and it looks freaking spectacular.
Has got us some coconuts. Um, which is good because I'm very, very dehydrated, very, very tired. How is it? <coughs> paradise water. There it is. <coughs> the paradise water of the Holy Communion of the Central Equatorial Pacific. So apparently, in this lake right here, there's a, a massive six-foot freshwater eel, and uh, they catch it by sticking their arm in there and making the eel bite their arm, and then it's like a wrestling match between uh, man and eel, and man and beast. I and mean, what a crazy freak! I'd love to see that, but uh. Chuck tried asking these people to catch one. They didn't seem too keen on it, so I can't really blame them. I don't want to stick my, I don't want to stick my arm down a six-foot eel's throat for a couple of tourists. <laughs> it's crazy. And apparently, there's a um, massive freshwater trevally that lives in this lake as well. It's like one of the only species in the world that's, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty crazy lake. Gosh, I'm tired. Oh man, I'm exhausted. The Holy Paradise Water, toast to Tedaina Island. Welcome to Tedaina. 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 Washington Te Island. Tedaina. Tedaina. Washington Island welcomes you. This is the Moimoto, this is the water of the gods, the paradise water. There's nothing better in the world than this. Fresh, fresh paradise water. We're surrounded by paradisical beauty. There's ferns and grass and taro and pandanus and coconuts. Everywhere we look, we're standing on top of a, this soft peat bod of, of, of immense biological and ecological and tourism value that's sustainable. We look off, we have this 
we have no, this is the only atoll in the whole world that has a lake. We have this large lake. This lake has, has uh, giant GTs that have, that got stuck in here from the ocean and they evolved to live in fresh water. We've got giant eels that guys catch with their arms that are just crazy. I'll show you a picture of them when we get back. But this is truly a special island. Absolutely, it's, it's off the chart. There's no more beautiful place than this island. Fresh water, that you can, you can drink the water. It's, it's fresh water. So we're starting tours here. As soon as anybody wants to come on up, come on up. And um, bookings through either uh, fanningisland.com and there's also Coral Sun Airways. You'll be you'll be you'll be a guest of one of Washington's six unique villages that are around this lake. These resources belong to all all Kiribati people from the, the 18, 18 inhabited islands of, of, of Kiribati. The resources should be shared equally between the villages here so that it promotes their unique Kiribati culture. And the, the Kiribati culture is based on communal activity. It, things are surrounded by church and village and island. Positive impact tourism is just what it means. It, it promotes it promotes Kiribati culture. It promotes Kiribati custom. We're, we're highlighting Kiribati culture and custom. We're showcasing it. And, and Kiribati culture, Kiribati custom, the island of Tiraina, the island of Tabuidan, they're extremely fragile. They're some of the world's most Beautiful, pristine paradises there are on their paradise on earth. And, and as we know from living everywhere else in the world, paradise is very fragile. It's been lost. Cameron likes coconuts. Knock it back, boy. <coughs> well, I think it's time to grab another coconut and then head back to the ship. I missed the water. <laughs> Alright, check him aboard. Okay. I love Tedina. Beautiful paradise. I think many people would love it. Too many. A lake on the equator that floats in the ocean. It's in the middle of the ocean. A freshwater lake floating in the middle of the ocean A on the equator. Never seen anything like it. portal was as we flew past English Harbor and looked out of the Y-12 window. That's the most beautiful sight there was of English Harbor, Dan. The second portal is as we came up on this, this long, this long canal, canal. And, um, and there's a portal in heaven. True, true paradise on earth. This is a, this is a, Central Pacific. <laughs> Our engine broke. We're fucked. This is this is we're in the Central Pacific. <laughs> we're, we're we're in the Central Pacific, halfway between. Yeah, we're in the Central Pacific and a little river stuck without a motor now. If you make an X, 
if you make an X from San Francisco to Sydney, and you make another X from Peru to, to Shanghai, China, where that red line crosses is, is where the two islands of paradise lie. Dalvoidan and Tadaina. This place that it happened 1200 years ago. Is that a leech? See the flies in my open wound on my foot? This is what a going around barefoot and surfing on crazy breed does to you. A tree up there. We're coming in back into the palm tree coconut forest or whatever. It's, it's really nice to be out of that sun. It is freaking hot here. Feet up, a 15 pound coconut is gonna kill you, it smash you. So, listen to the place. Okay, that's a wrap. We gotta go. That's a wrap. This is so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's the Garden of Eden. We found the Garden of Eden. This is, this is the Garden of Eden. So this is the location for the second filming of the African Queen, the one that starred Humphrey Bogart, Humphrey Bogart and Catherine Hepburn. Yeah, this should be the this should be the filming location. Oh, okay. This should be the location. This is it, because the, the okay, the, you know who else is gonna come out here? Leonardo DiCaprio. I've always wanted to meet him. Leonardo. You have an open invitation to visit this fragile paradise. And Elon Musk. Elon Musk, you are invited to Tedaina and Paul Elon Musk, 
Leonardo DiCaprio. Pumpkin. Coconut, I mean. <laughs> wow, that's, wow, that's good. Sponsored by Coconut. That's a wrap. We found the Garden of Eden. This is, this is the Garden of Eden. This is so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.